Fun and House is doing a big fundraiser, and our DMV Zone co-host Joe Claire is part of it. He joins us now to wrap up that big event. <laughs> Good morning to you, Joe. Good to see you. Good morning, brother. You got to keep. Actually, we're doing re reflection. If you can see, yeah, we are finishing up, and and people are reflecting on what it feels like to sleep outside and what it feels like to be a homeless youth in this weather. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we have people out. <laughs> we had a great turnout. Mm -hmm. We raised a lot of money uh, for homeless youth here in our area. Uh, just know, um, like I slept out for one night. It was freezing cold. I was uncomfortable. I tossed and turned all night. And that's what everybody's sitting here saying. But the other thing that we're saying is that, you know, we only had to do it for one night in our region, in our region where we are seeing, you know, uh, uh, all kinds of money getting thrown around for this, that, and the other, people are still having to find a place to sleep each night. And we focus on people who are between the ages of 18 and 24 who, you know, fall through the cracks. And that's what Covenant House does. And you can see a lot of people came out and took part of this here at the wharf. It is cold, though. Yeah. It is it's really it a wisdom. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh. Yeah, I can only imagine, uh, Joe. And I, I know a lot of times. Uh, I, oh. I, I, yeah, I know. I know. And a lot of times I know we complain about how, how cold it is, but uh, that this is next level. And this is a serious matter. This is why you you decided to get involved in this. So so tell us about your work with the Covenant House and you deciding to do this because you didn't have to do this at all. So I started with the Covenant House a couple of years ago. Um, I went to a sleep out event and the young people <laughs> did a program beforehand and they were making rap songs and they were some of the worst rap songs I ever heard. So I decided <laughs> and help in that way. But in doing that, um, I found that I had things that I could teach them about life skills, about, um, you know, becoming an adult, about being um, depend independent and how, you know, you don't become chronically homeless. And that work continued till now. I actually sit on the board here of the Covenant House of Greater Washington. And uh, this sleep out is, our, of course, our, our biggest fundraiser aim. I was the board member who was raising the least amount of money, so I really was about it this year. And I met, <laughs> I raised enough money this year, and and got, uh, we got tons of contributions and donations in. So it's it's that's the work that I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do not have this, but um, you know, we we continue to complain about. We always say, oh, somebody needs to do something. This right. is somebody doing something, right. and so hundreds of people out here who yeah. came out to that last night and did the same thing. Man. Right. All right. Well, Joe Claire, we, we appreciate you. Uh, we were doing it with your work on the Covenant House uh, on the board and uh, actually uh, going out and actually putting your putting your money where your mouth is uh, with this charity. So we appreciate you. Thank you, sir, for your time. And uh, we'll see you on the DMV Zone later on this yeah, afternoon I'm, as well. I'm, I don't even get to go home and go to bed. I, mm -hmm. I have things. Hey, Joe, as, <laughs> Joe, as long as you show up at 3 o'clock to be right. on the show, <laughs> you oh, know what? Cold. That is cold-blooded. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Claire, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you, Joe. Take care. Yep. <laughs> ah,